Can my homemade underwater jetpack beat an Olympic swimmer? I'd like to know. Many times. Uh, Phelps? Yeah. Wow. Because a few months ago, I made a smaller version of this jetpack that went 12.7 miles per hour. That's not fast enough. So I added six more motors to see how fast it would go. I have no idea what I'm doing. This video is sponsored by Shopify. When it came to making version two of this jetpack go faster, we just could not find an engineer to ask how to solve our low power engine problem. So we went to the one place where life's biggest mysteries are solved. The YouTube comment section. If you ask an engineer, how do we resolve our low power engine problem? They always say, put more engines. Problem solved. Put more engines. Time to double it, only six double it, I dare you. I dare you. Double and give it to the next person. Double it. This is too many. This is too many. Put more, more engines. Put more engines. I'm about to pick up. I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Oh, that's gotta be, it's gotta be 60, 65, 70, 95. If you don't believe me, well, take it from Katie. <laughs> Which is why I added a military grade full body harness to help with the weight. This is better than I thought. This is better than I thought. The obvious next move was to strap it all together and head over to the pool for test number one. If you watched the last video, you know this jetpack has three gears. Low gear, high gear, and super gear. We will begin in low gear, and you know, she may be modest, but out the gate, she's just really showing off. What's up, Lo? Look at all them bubbles. Buy me dinner first. Goodness. I was like Chick-fil-A open on Sunday, kind of excited. Super fun. <laughs> I have no control. What I'm realizing now editing, other than this weird balloon diaper thing that kept happening, was I think the jets were set to different gears, so it made flying straight impossible and also made us come to the conclusion that we may need to make a few adjustments. It's, it's not great. But goodness, is this girl powerful. We just need to figure out how to yield this power wisely. So we went back to the drawing board. Our hypothesis was basically that if the jets are more spread out, then the power may be more easily controlled. It was kind of sad taking the jets off, but there's a sunrise coming. And that sunrise was called Jetpack Mark II. Jetpack Mark II, ready to take off. This felt like way cooler than it looks. There's all this moist condensation from my mouth breathing that made me feel actually like super nauseous. I don't know. I just thought I'd say that. But how exactly does a normal person find a pro swimmer to swim against? Welcome to Strava. If you've never heard of it, it's essentially social media for exercising. The app has public leaderboards where you can compete against people in your area who are also running, biking, or in our case, swimming. And that is when I found Robert. He holds three swimming records, which feels like a lot for Strava. So I Googled him and realized that he's a former professional swimmer. I'm betting on me. I would recommend you do too. And we actually have a lot in common. He went to the University of Georgia. I went to the University of Georgia. He swam during the Michael Phelps era. I swam during the Michael Phelps era. He won awards. You know, Robert may be an Olympian, but what he doesn't have is a jetpack. We're gonna break every record he has on Strava. So tomorrow when he wakes up, he's gonna look down and be like, wow, I can really respect this Preston guy because he has so many awards now. Something like that. So the first record we wanted to attempt was called Out to the Pier. Robert swam 0.31 miles from the shore to the pier in six minutes and 23 seconds, which is why we drove two hours south to Oceanside Beach because we were completely confident that will be beaten today. I'll start here and, and just cook from here to the edge of the pier and I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous that's okay though and to make matters worse as soon as i started suiting up an old man walked by me and said even with all the odds stacked against me i decided to put my fear aside and get into the water and remind myself that no one got to the moon because they were comfortable people got to the moon because they were in a spaceship this jetpack is my spaceship and that pier that pierced my mouth. Are 
Aren't the moon landings like not even real though? Oh, it's gonna be harder than I thought. Completely terrified. Couldn't see anything. Ran out of air in four minutes. This happened. Oh no. I think our boy Rob may win on this one. The wires were all over me. Like, I was being attacked. The second I ran out of air, I'm trying to like, swim up, it was very scary. I hate to say it, but like going back to like the original build. And basically moving the jets from my limbs to my back was the idea. Once again, the jetpack needed more power, which means we had to put more engines. Put more engines. That could be on a t shirt. What? Put more engines. I'd wear that. But it doesn't make sense. The phrase. People are going to love no, these, dude. It should be put more engines on. Like, you need a preposition or something. But I already built a store. Wait, wait. Just now, using Shopify's $5 starter plan. You, like, just now? Yeah. Because Shopify is an all in one commerce platform, it's a great place for me to start our t shirt business. And post it across all social networks. They make that super wait, easy. Wait, 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 wait. Shopify's great. But we're not, like, actually selling these, right? The jetpack was finally ready for race number two. And you know what else is ready? Your free Shopify trial at shopify.com slash Preston goes. Go sell some weird t-shirts. We reallocated most of the power to the back, old thing. And then two jets on the legs because four was overkill. We think two is gonna be like just right. We also upgraded to a bigger air tank because this was going to be a long distance race. Oh, and we have six of these little throttles each connected to two jets. We're coming for you, Rob. Coming for you. 16th Street to 90210 House. At 0.91 miles, this is tripling the distance of our first attempt. And we have to do that in under 19 minutes and seven seconds. Honestly, not sure what to say here, but that shot just looks really cool. Uh, something, 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 and time starts now. Let's go. The first thing I noticed going underwater was that the clarity was so much better than the day before. But I couldn't tell what direction I was going, so I was kind of all over the place. Unless you're what they call a heavy breather, this tank only lasts 25 minutes, which is perfect because I'll be done with this whole thing way before that. I ran out of there. But when I checked my watch to see how much time had passed, 10 minutes, 21 seconds. Suddenly I felt confident. We're gonna beat you, Robert! We're flying, baby. Really enjoying myself. Swimming is so easy. When this swimming is the easiest thing. Maybe a little too confident. Holy I'm gonna die out here. I'm gonna die out there! That was 35 minutes. What was it like from your perspective? It looked similar to drowning. After looking at the propellers, it became very clear what happened. About halfway through, it just started going. Got some aluminum foil, and this one, Chipotle burrito. After two shocking losses to a man we had never met, we had an idea that took this story in kind of a surprising direction. Daniel's older brother, believe it or not, also swam at the University of Georgia. So we had this idea to FaceTime him and ask. Do you think you could get Robert's number for us? We realized we think we want to try to race him in person. Nick is a hero and said yes. And to our complete disbelief, got this number in 20 minutes. So we crafted this text challenging Robert to a race, which you can read if you'd like. And then... Friday. Friday. No, Friday. No, we race Robert. <laughs> what does it feel like to know you're going to race an Olympic swimmer with a jetpack that you made in your backyard? Well, I feel like we're about to meet up after school in the parking lot with the high school bully. <laughs> the funniest part about that is this is the nicest guy in the world. <laughs> the fact that he like, he's like willing <laughs> to come race me. <laughs> We've literally never met. That's him. That's him. That's him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Me and the bully that I made up in my head hit it off immediately. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Looks like something Batman would wear in the water. If any of you guys want to build your own jetpack so you can also become friends with a pro swimmer, the link to the Subnado motor is in the description. Him and his wife are just the nicest people in the world. I told him that the weather was making me a little nervous and he quickly explained that we were totally good. But by race time, clouds had rolled in and the conditions weren't my favorite. Oh, 
So Robert, his wife, and myself prepared for the race. They said we should race near the buoys. Where are the buoys? Oh, just in the middle of the ocean. Wait, but isn't the jetpack super heavy? Yes, it is. Looking back now, this was a huge mistake, but here we are. Swimmers, take your mark. You have to push these throttles three times to get into super gear. It takes two hands. This is me sinking as I attempted to do so, but couldn't get it, so I raced Robert in high gear, which is why this happened. And the bad conditions also brought in so much seaweed that conveniently found its way into the motors. We wait for them to finish their swim and try to do it again. Yeah. Robert said yes, I got owned by this wave. <laughs> and we began race number two. The shallow water must have really helped me out because all of a sudden I don't see Robert. And then I realize, oh my gosh, I'm in the lead. I feel like I'm flying underwater. I'm passing all that stupid seaweed that made me lose in the first place. And then I felt like I should probably pull up and wait for Robert to catch up. Did you beat me? <laughs> Turns out I never had a chance. The jetpack was beaten by Senor Seaweed himself. We tried to get the propellers spinning on shore and they barely moved. The more we all talked about it, we realized that the only way to truly know this jetpack's top speed is with perfect conditions. No seaweed, preferably. So we're back at a bigger pool, but with a few changes to the jetpack. We added this fin. I'm gonna be honest, couldn't tell you what fins do, but we need to go faster and we needed all the help we could get. And with all the seaweed removed, I was just pumped to get in the pool and see what this jetpack could do. <laughs> thing is flying. Even though I couldn't gain speed because of the size of the pool, the jetpack felt so much faster being in still water, but I was still in high gear. This is a speedometer. It was time. Whoa. <laughs> wow, dude. That was crazy. It's so fast. So it was sadly too dark underwater to make out the numbers on the speedometer. So our friend Noah said, he's gonna run next to me with the speedometer. <laughs> and he's gonna tell us how fast I'm going. Super, 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 super gear. Super, 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 super. Four. <laughs> Whoa! Super, 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 super gear. Super, 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 super. Bye. Cut to the bigger pool. I hope we can find one. Oh, we found one, and it's called La Jolla Shores Beach, San Diego. We're here to answer two questions and two questions only. Number one, how fast is this thing? I then stepped in to answer the second most important question. Is there seaweed? From the looks of it, not really. The conditions were just right and the final speed test was about to begin. With the speedometer on my watch and an air tank in my mouth, I was as ready as I'd ever be. Don't use one of these unless you're certified. Initiating super gear in three, two, one. top speed was clocked at 17.6 miles per hour, which is 4.9 miles per hour faster than the last jetpack. Just in case you didn't know how fast that is, it's fast enough to do that. <laughs> Snapped it right off. Put more engines. Put more engines. Put more engines on your body. From mine to 
entertainment.